Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode at Nori Aqua. This is a tutorial on how to trim stem plants, in this case Rotala Vietnam, and Rotundifolia Green. As you can see, the stem plants in this aquarium have grown all the way to the surface. We will be trimming them in this video to the desired shape. Before we start, it's highly recommended that all the accessories in the aquarium are turned off. Such devices can include filter, skimmer, heater and any other devices. It's best to remove all floating plants and debris, for example frog bit or detached plants. A pro tip is to save the stem plants, as they can be replanted later. Please use straight type scissors, as they are the best for trimming stem plants to the desired shape. But before you start, it's best to plan on paper or your head what shape you are aiming for. So today, I'm going for a curved look for a bush appearance once the plants regenerate. <laughs> There's no rush in trimming. Please take your time and ensure that you don't injure any livestock such as shrimps. To create a bush, slowly trim the top to the desired height. Some stem plants, such as Rotala Vietnam, sometimes grow outwards. Prod as you trim so that you don't leave behind any long stems. It might look like you're trimming way too much, but don't worry, it's totally normal. It's recommended that you occasionally take a step back and observe how you are going. Slowly continue your trimming towards the left, front and right hand sides on a gradual downward incline. So let's fast forward this process. Okay, the bulk of the trimming is complete. This serves as an opportunity to fine tune the shape of the plant, as desired. Let's fast forward this step. Unlike most aquarium plants, stem plant trimmings float to the surface. This means nesting at the trimmings will be a lot faster. We'll come back to that shortly. Did you want to achieve a lush bush or stem plants? Then, I recommend that you collect any trimmings 5cm or more for replanting later. To make things easier for replanting, I got this tray from Daiso for 100 yen. The idea is to grab the stem plants two to three bunches 
and place them on a tray. Please plant them in between once you are done. Let's commence the cleanup of the leftover trimmings. I'll fast forward this bit for your convenience. I didn't show you the replanting of the trim stems. It's quite straightforward. All you do is place them in between every 2 or 3 centimeters. I also didn't show you the trimming of Retinifolia green, as the process is exactly the same. So, there you have it. The plants will regenerate in a week, and the Retala Vietnam will just become red as expected. After watching this video, you should have a general idea of how to trim your stem plants. I hope this helps you at home. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to the Nora Aqua channel. See you again in the next video.